Hello, and welcome to Larissa's Kitchen. I have had a rough week. I sliced the tip of my finger off in a turkey carving incident that will live in infamy. And Mike took a swipe at County, our big dog. Completely missed him and got the back of my hand. Earlier in the week, Rory jumped out of my arms and slashed my wrist. No, I am not the victim of domestic abuse. It is all the animals. Also, in the past week, we've had two inches of strange snow pellets, along with snow and now freezing rain. I know what I could use to cheer me up, and that is chocolate. So today, I am putting together some homemade hot fudge sauce. Hot fudge sauce is not that difficult to make, and it doesn't take that many ingredients either. We will be using two different types of chocolate, and remember, buy the best quality chocolate that you can afford. I'll be using both Ghirardelli's unsweetened baking powder, as well as their semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now, as always, the ingredients are listed here, as well as the full recipe and instructions in the description box below. All of this is made on the stovetop in just a few minutes, so let's get started. This is on medium-low. We're going to let this butter melt first, then we'll add in the rest of the ingredients, minus the chips and the vanilla. All right, we do not have to let this melt all the way. Okay, you can see we don't have any more of that light foam on here when this bubbles up, so this is ready to go. We're just gonna turn this off. Once this stops bubbling, I'll add in the vanilla and the chocolate chips. And then we're just gonna stir this until all of this melts. I, of course, am using my hot fudge sauce on a brownie a la mode. However, I'm not here to try the brownie a la mode. I'm here to try the hot fudge sauce. Looks like Diesel is too. So, and I've eaten it like this because it's so good. <laughs> oh my. That makes all the hurts better. 
Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a click and don't forget to leave a comment. We're always happy to hear from you. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and don't keep us a secret. Share our videos with your friends and family. You can follow us on Facebook for behind the scenes pics and videos and on Twitter for upcoming videos and the random cat picture.